And that's why they're telling you to do one simple thing, move over. Every state now has a move over law on the books to make sure both police and tow truck drivers stay safe. And a group of tow truck drivers trying to make sure you know about it made a stop right here in Michiana today. It's all part of their nationwide tour. New Center 16's Joshua Short met with them today and Josh, this law could save lives. Mo, that's right. These tow truck drivers and emergency personnel know the danger is all too real on the roads and they often fear for their safety. I recently went for a ride along with an Indiana State Trooper to see the risks that emergency crews face on a daily basis. Wow. Master Trooper Brian Hoffman of the Indiana State Police has patrolled these Indiana roadways for nearly two decades. See what we can see. We may even go on old 31 and see okay. what we get. On a recent ride along, he stopped a vehicle for speeding and noticed approaching danger. That van can move over easily right now. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go give this lady your stuff back and we're going to go stop this van. The driver of that van just broke the law by failing to yield or move over for a parked emergency vehicle. All drivers are required to change lanes and slow down when approaching police vehicles, ambulances, fire trucks, and tow trucks stopped on the side of the road. In a tower's life, every day we go out could be a catastrophe. You never know. We see vehicles coming at us all the time that have no respect. We just, you know, we're looking for that respect. That respect can be the difference between life and death. It's the reason for a somber procession, remembering the lives lost on U.S. highways. The Spirit Ride's mission is to raise public awareness of the slowdown, move over law that exists in every state of the union. I know exactly what happens when people don't give the courtesy to move over and obey the law because people get injured, people get killed, and it affects everybody. One night in 2001, during a heavy snowstorm, Trooper Hoffman responded to a crash on an Indiana toll road. He re-entered his squad car when moments later, it was hit by a semi-truck. I lost consciousness shortly after advising the district that I had been struck and was injured. It could have been prevented very easily by that driver just doing what he should have done and moved over, especially in a snowstorm. The National Highway Safety Administration says more than 70% of drivers aren't aware of this law. Well, the reason why I stopped is because I was on that traffic stop back there with that other vehicle and you didn't move over to the left lane when you came by us. Others ignore it. So you knew it was a law? Yeah. yeah. As the ride along came to an end, we went back to the station where there stands a monument of names that will never be forgotten. Some of the names that are on this stone are of fallen troopers that have been victim to the lack of following the law and giving the courtesy and moving over. And consequently, many of the troopers on here have lost their lives. Our hope is that we can bring awareness to continue the campaign of move over and hopefully save lives of police officers, firefighters, ambulance uh, workers, tow truck drivers, anybody that's broke down the side of the road and hopefully not have to put another name on this stone ever again. A lot of people I spoke with today say they now feel better informed and have a better understanding of those who risk their lives every day. It's also important to mention that more uh, laws that are being enacted in different states, including the move over laws in all states, have the same basic idea, but with a few differences. Let's break it down. In Indiana, the law requires that drivers move out of the lane closest to a stopped emergency vehicle or tow truck. That's if you're heading in the same direction. If you're not able to move over, you can slow down to under 10 miles per hour. In Michigan, you're also required to leave the closest lane empty. That's if you're headed in the same direction. But where it differs from Indiana is if you can't move over, you can slow down to a speed that's safe for weather and road conditions. And after South Bend, the riders headed to Michigan City, where they expect it to arrive around noon central time. They'll take a little bit of a break before making about a 40 mile trek to Griffith. They're planning to get there at about 2 p.m. on Thursday. And on Friday, they'll set foot in the Windy City, my hometown, around 10 a.m. 
For a full list of stops, head to our WNDU app and just tap on this story. We also have a link there to our interactive map. It's a, a very convoluted story, of course, but it's an easier way for travelers to know how to stay safe and keep others safe. Yeah, and I understand that tr the trooper shared with you a, a sad story of a, his harrowing experience. Yeah, very, very sad, but he had the strength to do so. And also, it's important to note that he only had, you know, a concussion and a couple of bruises from it. But he says that his friends are not as lucky, and he's lucky to be alive. And he's sharing that story so that people know, drivers like me and you know, that there are ways to stay safe on these roads. And we have to remember that. Mm -hmm. All right, Josh, thanks.